Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to show you how to force the duration of notes and rests that could be expressed in different ways in Dorico. Dorico uses its set of customizable rules and options to dictate how to notate note durations. This is a good thing, as it means you can concentrate on inputting notes for the duration you need them without worrying about the various conventions prescribing how they should be notated. These rules are set in notation options found in the library menu or by using the key command Control Shift N. That's Command Shift N on Mac. Generally speaking, if notes are not being drawn using the durations you are expecting, you should consult the notation options and make the relevant changes, as this will affect all notes across the entire flow in one fell swoop. However, this is music notation, and there is rarely one rule to rule them all. If a specific notated duration is required that falls outside of the notation options set for the flow, you can achieve this using force duration. Before inputting a note, engage force duration by pressing the toolbox button that resembles a G clamp, the device typically used to hold wood or metal work pieces in place or by using the key command O. Dorico will now input notes using the specific durations you use and will not rewrite them according to the default rules, regardless of where they sit in the bar or their surrounding context. This can be useful when creating tied notes that Dorico would conventionally glue together to create the simplest duration that fits the rules. In situations where it is useful to indicate certain rhythmic positions, perhaps to mimic the rhythm of other voices or to add a playing technique to the middle of a tie chain, using force duration will allow you to achieve the exact sequence of note values required. You can also force the duration of rests, which can be useful on occasion, such as in this example, where I would like to show the exact rhythmic position of the fermata. When you select a note or rest that has been input with force duration engaged, the toolbox button will illuminate, indicating the force duration state, and giving you the option to remove it if you want to. If the button illuminates upon making a multiple selection, you'll know that at least one item in that selection has been input with a forced duration, and pressing the button, or using the key command O, will remove all forced durations in the selection. And that's Force Duration in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.